I'm okay. I guess I might as well unpack. Alex. Do I want to know? Guess I Kinda gave Gabe the runaround, huh? So Gabe and Riley have been working on her interview, and Mac thought they were sleeping together? This is fucking stupid. Charlotte made this? Gabe mentioned she was an artist, but I didn't realize he meant, like, professionally. I could never make something so... personal. What an honor to be the sister of the Rubber Duck Derby second place finisher. Is that... a sword? We didn't even get to finish the song. Huh. I've really changed the art style since I read these. Must be Ethan's. Wonder how many times Gabe's been forced to play. Wait, what? Is that a real, live, dead deer? Gabe brushing up on comics and art? Really going the extra mile for Ethan and Charlotte. Holy shit. It looks like Gabe actually read this. Broadcasting straight from your local record store. Because how fucking cool is that? At least I held it together in front of Ryan and Steph. Whoa. Looks like Ryan turned my brother into a model citizen.
Oh god. Shushu's gonna look so grungy on this nice bed. She's gotten me through some hard times, but... I was... hoping we were done with that. Ethan's really talented. Makes sense that his mom's an artist. I never heard back from Sydney. At least she cared. More than I can say for most. I really wish those mitts had worked. Chelsea. The rare bright spot from my time in the group home. Crazy how much we've changed. No way. Guess Gabe didn't cut out our parents. How mature. Look at them. Mom's healthy. Dad's only kind of an asshole. journal. Time to add my latest meltdown.
I'm going to choose to believe this isn't about me. I can see why Gabe fits in so well here.
Ugh. I'll finish this later. No fucking way. Well, Alex, you just went nuts and beat the shit out of somebody in front of your brother. So, how are you feeling right now? When you were here before, couldn't look you in the eye. Dress like an angel Your skin makes me cry You float like a feather In a beautiful world I wish I was special You're so very special But I'm a creep I'm a weirdo What the hell am I doing here? I don't belong here Whatever makes you happy Whatever you want Very special God, I wish I was special But I'm a creep I'm a weirdo What the hell am I doing here? I don't belong here I don't belong here. You and your damn surprises, Gabe. Being here is too good to be true. I'm not gonna let anything mess it up. I should go downstairs and set things right with Gabe. Gabe looks like he fits right in.
I am Reginald McAllister, the third ducky to friends. But feel free to go upstairs and look for it. I'm sure he'd be grateful. Oh, if you can't find it, Deputy Pike was with them. Might have some idea. He's usually in here around now. Probably arriving soon. There must be something around the Black Lantern that can help me find Ducky. All right, let's see if I can find Ducky's whiskey up here. If Ducky fell asleep here last night, maybe the bottle's nearby.
found this upstairs. In Gabe's couch? Really? Must have been a night. Many thanks, Alex. My pleasure, Ducky. Can I pour you a glass? Uh, no, no. Allow me. To Miss Alex Chen, a most tenacious detective. To Alex. Cheers. That's the girl from the record store. Steph. Alex, right? I'm Steph. Hey. Just seeing if you need food or anything. Oh no, I'm good. Thanks though. Sorry I couldn't hang out at the record store. I've got some time now though if you want to chat. Is that your shot? What is that? This is bedazzled kiwi schnapps. No one's ever ordered it, so Gabe's trying to get rid of it with the jukebox game. What's a jukebox game? It's like a short version of 20 questions where you're trying to guess a song, guess wrong, you have to take the shot. <laughs> Ryan and I are going to play. You want to take his place? No, thanks. That shot looks a little too dazzling for me. Okay. Let me know if you change your mind. So, you and Ryan hang out a lot? All the time. Except when he ditches me for Gabe. They went to get first aid. <laughs> Being a hero again. Ryan's always doing that. <laughs> it's a Luke and family thing. Have you heard about Jed's rescue? It was a big deal. Back when he was a minor, he said- I can't imagine. Alex wants an earload of Haven trivia just now. Sorry, Jed. He doesn't like to brag, but there's stuff about it all over the place if you look. Interesting. I should get back to work. Okay. My extensive wilderness map reading knowledge tells me that there is a whole lot of wilderness around here. Starting over from scratch like this? Fucking terrifying is what it is. You're telling me. Good. Behind that mountain man beard, Jed's so obviously a sweet guy. Damn boys, always fighting. Time to grow up. Should have seen Gabe go at it with Dad. He's come a long way. It's getting better for sure. Still want to hit the trails later this week? You... Shit. Now Mac's scared. At least he's not freaking out anymore. He won't make me lose control. Wow, 
I must mech up pretty good. Idiot. You're gonna lose her. You're gonna lose her and it's all your fault. At least he's right about something. Glad you could fill in today. There you have it. Waven is nice. Just wish it felt like home. Hope we both get there soon. Chen. My dad was in the service. Miss Chen. My dad was in the service. Sounds like Ducky knows Gabe pretty well. Jed mentioned a table in the back. Haven seems pretty serious about this festival. Holy shit. Can I talk to you real quick? What do you want? Listen, what happened upstairs was fucked up, right? From both of us. Where are you going with this? Look, Riley's headed over here. She's pretty heated. I, I, I don't think it helps to recap all the gory details, you know? <laughs> you really are a piece of shit. Look, she's going to break up with me otherwise. We've been together four years. She is the best thing that's ever happened to me. So please, help me out. I don't know, man. Shit. What the fuck is wrong with you? Oh my god, look at your face. No, it's okay. Don't even. What were you thinking? Where's Gabe? Why do you give a shit? Because my boyfriend just got into a fight with him. I swear. This is it. You better have a good explanation or we're done. It's not my fault. I just wanted to talk to the guy. About what? About you! About... why you guys are meeting behind my back. Okay. So how did the fight happen? The bastard sucker punched me! Okay, um... Not exactly sucker punched, but he definitely started it. Oh, God. Were you there, too? Yeah, I was there. But, um, I need to get back to work. Sure. Alex will, uh, Get out of your way. 
can't believe you two. It sounds so childish. I know. I'm sorry. I just get so worked up thinking of you with him. Alex Chen? Uh... So, you were there when your brother assaulted Mac Loudon? I'm Jason Pike, Deputy Sheriff. I'm gonna have to take you and your brother in for questioning. Are you saying I'm under arrest? <laughs> your face. <laughs> you should see your face. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, I'm only kidding. Nobody's in trouble here. I, <laughs> Gabe and I just like to prank each other. <laughs> <laughs> I've never been pranked by a cop before. <laughs> you definitely got me. <laughs> Thanks for being a good sport. Can I buy you a drink? Um... Maybe I'm working right now. Well, I'll be at the bar. You want one, you just come by, okay? <sighs> Are you finished up with everything you want to do? Yeah, I took care of everything you mentioned. Is there anything else you'd like me to do? Nah, the boys should be back soon. Well, speak of the devil. How you feeling? Not great. Not awful. I got Alex covering for you. For real? We need to talk. I'll be on the rooftop, okay? Okay. I think that's enough for today. I was glad to have you. I can see you're a hard worker. You can't keep an injured man waiting. You better go upstairs. Thanks. We'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Time to talk to Gabe. Are you giving me the silent treatment? I'd understand if you were. Look, Gabe, I'm really sorry. I... Did you rehearse that move? No. Only in my mind. <laughs> so, need a manager for your underground cage fighting career? Gabe, I'm really sorry. How many bones have you broken? Like, on other people? Dude, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you. Don't apologize. I'm fine. Now that we're talking about it, I guess I never realized. That I'm a crazy person? No, come on. I never realized what your life must have been like. 
on your own. It was fine. You know, when I pulled you off the Mac and you hit me, I, I was angry. Then I thought about how you took him apart. Like you've done it before. Kids in foster care fight a lot. I learned how to defend myself. I'd say. I can tell there's something going on with you. Something troubling you. Maybe it's time you open up. I want to talk to Gabe, but what can I even say right now to explain what happened with Mac? There's something off about me. I know what other people are feeling. I can see these auras around them. And if they feel strongly enough, if they're angry or sad or afraid, I feel it too. And then I lose control. And this has happened? For a long time. Like Mac. I felt all that anger like it was my own. I think it was pretty clear that Mac was angry. It's more than that. He wasn't just angry at you. He's angry at himself. He thinks he's going to lose Riley. Did Riley tell you that? No. No one told me that. I just... feel it. Sure, it's not just, you know. It's not just in my head, Gabe. I promise. It's not from meds or stress or trauma or whatever. It's real. Can you tell what I'm feeling right now? It doesn't work like that. It's only when you feel really strong emotions. Oh. I don't expect you to believe me. No one does. So you can actually feel what other people are feeling? Yes. You're like going inside their heart. I guess I am. Dude, you have superpowers. <laughs> You're fucking with me, right? I'm serious. Did you listen to anything I just said? This is terrible. Okay, okay, maybe superpowers is a bit strong. It's just... I have no idea what's going on with people half the time. Charlotte's teaching me how to improve my 
emotional intelligence, but this, this is on another level. You can get in there. I mean, that's, that's really special. Special. That's really your take on all this? Totally. I mean, it's whatever you make it, right? But it doesn't matter what's going on. I'm here for you. Don't forget that. So, when were you going to tell me about the guitar? Oh, shit. You found it. It was supposed to be a huge surprise. Surprise? <laughs> well, what do you think? I love it. Thank you so much. Of course. Welcome home. Oh, hey, dude, what's up? Hey, is Ethan up here? No, he was heading home. He was, but I haven't seen him in a while. I told him not to wander off. I'll find him. Gabe, wait. Earlier, when I was talking with Ethan, he told me he was hiking up the mountains to explore the old mine. What? Why didn't you say something? I'm sorry. If he actually went up there, we need to move. Now. Okay, let's go. Ethan! Come on, pick up, pick up. Alex. This way. since I was up here. You don't do your ranger stuff around here? Private land, outside of my jurisdiction. Dad brought me up here a bunch when I was little, though. I was his miner in training. <laughs> that was back before mining meant blowing the tops off mountains. Any luck? And touch base with the safety team up at the site. They're going to postpone tonight's blast until we find them. Oh. At least we're not racing the clock. Hey. You good? Charlotte's got to be losing it right now. Hey, she's tough. Always has been. Come on. Let's take a look around. This kid... Can you imagine the shit we would have caught from Dad if we'd done anything like this? I should have said something earlier. I didn't. I mean, when he said he was going to the old mine... Alex, it's fine. You couldn't have known. It's not your fault. Yeah. Still, though. I'm going to go take a look around. Let me know if you spot any sign of Ethan. Sure. 
I can do that. How was Ethan planning to get into the mine? Nope. 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 Super nope. Maybe Julie McNamara doesn't need your approval. My joyride in this will have to wait until after we found Ethan. set off charges tonight. Thank God Gabe got a hold of them. Will we though? Barn. Hey, bro, want to get wasted at the old mine? How is the rubber zombie the least creepy thing out here? Probably not as fun to ride in as they look. It's pretty beaten up. Wonder what happened to it. I got you. I got you. It's okay. You're okay. Oh, God. Oh, God, we're alive. Is that everybody? I need a head count. monster here is underage drinking. You don't realize until you're up close, but mining equipment is super murdery. Wow. Once Ethan's safe, I'll raise one too. Here. Massive cave in. Bunch of trapped miners. All nearly died. Jed led the whole team back to the surface. God. Yeah, that's the day Foreman Jed became local hero Jed. And then Typhon closed up this site, basically bought Jed the Black Lantern. Huh. Same logo. Did Ethan base his comic on this place? Okay. Okay. If the wall is an illusion... Nothing obvious. Maybe we should... Notice anything? No shit. I'll be damned. The whole story is about Ethan's character breaking into a monster stronghold deep underground. Sounds like the mind of me. Does it show where he went? Not sure. The comic ends with the monster hunter climbing a watchtower, which shows him where to go. There. The silo. I bet that's the tower. That's where he went. You're a genius. Yeah. 
Great find, Alex. Gabe, you want to take a crack at unlocking that gate? I'm on it. We should also be able to get to it through the processing building. If we can find a way in. Let's take a look, then. Okay. Ethan based his comic on this place. Maybe I should compare his drawings with other stuff in the area. My instincts say no, but I feel like I'm close. So if the zombie is here, then... If Ethan really followed the path in his comic, finding him just became a lot more doable. There's like a side door back there. I don't know. You can guess there might be. Give me a hand. Okay. <sighs> you figured that out from a comic book. Try to get the lights on. You try to figure out where Ethan went. Ethan must have come through here. How did he get out? What? It's a long shot, but Ugh. Let's hope omens aren't really a thing. Be careful walking around in here, okay? Noted. This thing has seen better days. I think I just saw a wreck. Yeah, it was worth a shot, I guess. Ethan must have passed through some other way. Let me see what I can figure out. Any luck? I kind of want to push all the buttons. Also, kind of scared to push any of the buttons. Ethan must have gone upstairs. Pretty sure Ethan climbed these stairs.
wasn't in the comic. We passed caution like an hour ago. The silo, we're getting close. Reminds me of the snake thing in Ethan's comic. Ethan made the jump from here to the conveyor belt? Oof. Think I'll find another way through. Looks like Ethan climbed the conveyor belt out to the silo. Yikes! Heads up! You figured out the door! Yeah. Turns out you gotta open it. Who knew? Will wonders never cease? What took you so long? You never forget how to break a lock. It's like riding a bike. Where to next, Alex? Thanor looks out from the watchtower and spots the secret entrance to the stronghold. If we can just... There. That's where he's heading. That's by the ravine. Shit. Let's go! Close? Think so. Ethan! 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 Ethan, I'm coming for you, buddy. Wait. 
Hold on. Ethan? You okay? Don't worry, we're gonna get you out of here. Just hang on. Don't! Don't, 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 don't! His fear is so strong. If I get near it... It's no good. We're too heavy. Shit. What about me? Alex, uh, are you sure? Remember how I taught you how to anchor a belay? Awesome. Show me. You okay? Yeah. Yeah, I'm all right. You sure? It's okay if you're not. No, I'm good. You know, I actually believe you when you say that. Alex, can you make eye contact with me? I'm gonna tie this rope around your waist. The other end is tied around your brother. He'll use that stump as a fulcrum to feed rope your direction. Follow? So far. Awesome. You're doing super good. Remember, slow is steady. Steady's fast. Piece of cake. Piece of cake. Hang on, Ethan. I'm coming. You got this, Alex. Go back! You'll get hurt! I'm not going back without you. You're stuck with me till we're both safe. end of the rope. No, I can't move if I move. You're not gonna fall, buddy. It doesn't matter. He's not making any sense. I need him to calm down. We can't stay here, Ethan. We have to. It'll see me. If I move, it'll see me. What's gonna see you? You don't understand. He's right. I don't. I can't help him if I don't understand what he's afraid of. And the only way to understand is to feel what he's feeling. Oh, fuck. I can't believe this is happening. I can do this. 
this. I can do this. feels. I'm seeing the world like he sees it. I thought I could hurt the monster, but it's hunting me. My warden wouldn't be afraid, but he's just a story. This is real. Okay. He's not afraid of the fall. He's afraid of... Oh, shit. Can't let it see me. Can't let it see me. It can't be real. Oh, but it looks pretty fucking real. Hey. Hey, I see it too, Ethan. The monster? I see it too. And I'm just as scared as you are. Ethan, we're safe. You know why? It can't see me. Bangle of vanishing, just like Ninth Warden. I thought that was just a story. Well, some stories are true, like monsters. So, you're gonna hold my hand, all right? As long as you're touching me, you're safe. Don't look down, okay? We'll be done before you know it. Hold on to you so tight, okay? Okay.
I'm not big on speeches. I've always believed that the role of the bartender is to shut up and listen. And by that measure, Gabe was the worst bartender I've ever known. I never issued a speeding ticket to someone on a bicycle before until he came along. He cared so much about my admissions essay. Even though he probably couldn't spell admissions <laughs> or essay. <laughs> he booked my band to play the lantern all the way from Seattle to pretty much right where I'm standing. I can recall 14 specific instances where Gabe said something that made me laugh. <laughs> the first was two years ago. So, long story short, instead of a ticket, I ended up buying him a beer. Gabe stood like three feet away, grinning like a doofus at us. I'm sure there were more people, but I only remember him. And then he said, I know, that's why the K is silent. <laughs> Then the fifth time... He cared about everyone. He was the kind of guy you wanted to be around. He was a world-class bullshitter. He was my best friend. All I want to say about Gabe is he came into this bar as a stranger, but he left it as family. <clears throat> Guess that's that then. What happened to Gabe? was a senseless, tragic accident. And I just wish it that- It wasn't an accident. Son, now is not the time. Gabe called the mine. I gave him my sat phone to be sure he could get through. They fucked up. And now, now Gabe's dead. That was my shift. If anyone had called, it would have gone through me. Nobody called. You're lying. <laughs> In front of Gabe's own fucking sister, Alex heard the whole thing. He's right. I was there when Gabe made the call. I'd like to hear what you have to say about that, Mac. I'm not saying anything. Just, I didn't get a call. Draw your own conclusions. All right, folks. This is an ongoing investigation. How about and, uh, we review the sequence of events, hmm? Well, son. When I saw you at the record store, you seemed pretty eager to find Gabe. Remember why? Hmm? Another fight with... Riley, maybe? No, I don't have to take this. Just saying, pretty wild that you come stumbling out of Gabe's apartment with your face all fucked up. Right. And just a couple hours later, you just so happened to miss the call that would have saved his life? Look, I told you there was no call to miss. And maybe the call got dropped. Oh shit, I mean, it's not like, it's not like Gabe was Mr. Reliable all the time. You watch your mouth, Mac. Ryan, that's enough. Now, I'm just as eager as you to understand all this, son, but there was a time Bullshit, and... Dad. 
This little weasel's calling Gabe a liar at his own fucking wake. No, I am just telling you. Mac, I swear, if you say there was no call one more fucking time. Stop it! Stop it now! This is not the time or place. We're all here for Gabe. Okay, Ryan? Sure, I'm... I'm sorry. It's not... I'm just... I'm not the one who killed him. <laughs> Aren't you, though? What the fuck did you just say? Ryan, back off. Oh, I'm hell. just saying. I thought I heard that you Mac, were the one. You shut the hell up. No. No, go ahead. You got something to say, Mac? Let's fucking hear Come it. Come on, guys. Don't make me intervene. All right. Fine. As long as we're tossing around accusations, way I hear it, you're the guy who cut the rope. Wait's over. Everyone out. Alex? Hey, fuck those guys. Yeah. Are you okay? Not really. But I, I will be. It's not your job to keep it together. Thanks. To you, um, it's messy, but do you want to come in? Sure. You play guitar? Yeah, well, sorta. I used to. Cool. Gabe would try to pop wheelies outside the record store to make me laugh. Never worked. Till he wiped out. That was hilarious. Gabe really wanted to do the LARP for Ethan. But by the end of it, he was more jazzed about it than anybody. Wish I could have seen it. Yeah. <laughs> we took this a year ago. We... actually kept it.
I just need a minute. Yeah, uh, no problem. Calm down, Alex. You're fine. You're fine. Whatever that bottle made her think of, it really messed her up. I wonder if I could help her the same way I helped Ethan. I need to feel her sadness to figure out how to help her. out what's really going on with Steph. <laughs> Dude, give it up. I already booked a bus ticket. Wait, wait, hear me out. One more game. If I win, you have to stay. If you win, I'll cover the ticket. You just lost 50 bucks. What are they called again? Don't shit on my yard! They're amazing! Their guitarist has one arm! Badass! Ladies and gentlemen, presenting your new foosball champion, Gabe Chen. Oh, you're the worst! Can't believe I have to stay in this stupid town. I think we both know you could have beat me if you really wanted to. So you're welcome. Bullshit. Damn it, fucking overpowered blue meteor. Aww, <laughs> is your controller broken too? We're playing until I win. Then I'll be crashing here tonight. Steph? Sorry. This is so embarrassing. I just need some time. Her sadness is so strong. I hope I can help. I need to find out why Steph is so upset. Here's to your new job at the station. Oh, didn't I tell you? I'm not taking it. I move to Denver next week. You what? I think I know enough to help her now. Still can't believe he's gone. Yeah. He's the whole reason I'm still... I'm sorry, Alex. Don't mind me. How about a quick match? Did Gabe tell you he played? I just had a hunch. Yeah? Well, you're right. I don't really think it's a great time. Fine. First to five points? If you say so. So, how often did you and Gabe play? It was one of our favorite games. You must be pretty good then. Mm-hmm.
You were in a band, right? Yeah. What'd you play? Drums. How, uh, how long did you play with them? <sighs> Too long. Gotcha. Five points! That's game! Yep. Big shocker. Oh, hey, at least you played your best. I mean, that obviously wasn't my best. No. I get it. I mean, this is a tough game. It requires skill, timing, and the will to be a champion. Oh. Is that how it is? Wait. Hold on. The crowd is really picking up on my energy. Ah, we love you, Alex! Ah, Strip sucks! Okay, <laughs> fuck you. I want a rematch. You're on. I'm actually trying this time, so you better focus. I am focusing. Good. Wouldn't want you to get distracted or anything. Certainly not. Greatest Northwest band of all time, go. <laughs> Are you trying to distract me? Well, of course not. Slater Kinney, if you were wondering. Let's do one more game. I don't know. Oh, come on. You know Gabe would never let a tie stand. Well, then it's settled. <laughs> this is it. For all the marbles. So many marbles. Definitely the kind of game you want to focus on. No matter what happens. Totally. Hey, so are you into girls or what? Don't sweat it. I was just trying to get in your head. The only thing in my head right now is crushing you with foosball. Oh, oh shit. Who's the what? Damn it! You're on to me.
champion. Foosball champion. Kardashian <laughs> family. Oh. <laughs> Good game. Thanks, Alex. I'm really glad you talked me into it. It was a lot of fun. Of course. It's kind of crazy that you knew exactly what would cheer me up. Don't give me too much credit. I'm the one who really needed it. So, what are you gonna do now? What do you mean? That shit with Mac. He's clearly lying, right? No question. I knew he was a jerk, but this is another level. I think I need to prove that he's lying. For myself and for Gabe. I've got your back. No matter what. Thank you. That means a lot. I should head back to work. Cool. Bye. Bye.